Ladies and gentlemen, uh, incredibly warm welcome from Maya and myself at this empty Concertgebouw session in this splendid hall here in the heart of Amsterdam, which for me, as pretty much an Amsterdammer, because I studied here, I've lived here for the last 20 years, this is kind of as good as it gets. This is where the magic happens. And this is a place that's kind of become part of my DNA. And wonderful Maya, on the other hand, who played all over the world, all kind of big orchestras and great halls. She never played in the hall, in the Grote Zaal of the Concertgebouw Amsterdam. So this is your, your debut here. Uh, so welcome. Um, that was uh, one of the most exciting and sparky and optimistic, um, almost kind of naughty, naughtily virtuosic pieces that we know. Uh, Johan Halvorsen, a romantic Norwegian composer, his set of variations on a, on a harpsichord Pasakalia by Handel. And a little personal note, uh, just over three and a half years ago, in the summer of 2017, Maya and I were at a festival in Denmark on a lovely island called Feu, and we met while playing this uh, Pasakalia. And today our, our daughter Lily is almost three months old and he, here backstage, hopefully being a, being a good girl. Uh, we chose a program that is basically all about optimism and um, uh, uplifting. Uh, now we will play a tiny little piece written by Jean Sibelius, the great Finnish symphonist, when he was nine years old. Apparently he loved going into the forests and communing with, uh, with the spirits and the elves and the trolls. Tiny little piece, so, so cute, almost like a lullaby for a baby. After that, the main work of today's program, Castillo Interior by Petrus Vasks, the great um, uh, composer from Riga, who became a great friend of ours as, as well. Um, this piece, Castillo Interior, is based on the book by Teresa of Avila, the Spanish uh, mystic uh, nun and, and writer. And this book is all about the search for sublimity for the sublime during life. This seems kind of fitting. And when you hear Peter is talking about his own music, it's all about nature and belief, and above all, about love. And he says, die Liebe gewinnt immer. Love always wins. And then we would love to end today's concert with a little tango by Astor Piazzolla, who would have been 100 in a couple of weeks from now. His centenary is on the 11th of March. Uh, the great Piazzolla, king of the new tango. He was a, a young man uh, studying with Nadia Boulanger in Paris when he wrote this piece in the 1950s, and we adore this music. And we have a close friendship with a great tango man of this time called Marcelo Nizinman, who studied with Piazzolla and somehow brought this lineage of these tangos very close to our hearts and minds, and we're so happy to share that with you to end our recital. Thank you.
Thank you.